Hello! Do you need to print out a PDF document but you ran out of black ink? Does your printer still have color ink available? And are you okay with printing that document using a substitute color? In this video, I'll go through the steps you can take to print out a black and white document using a substitute color. You'll need just one program to do that, and the good news is it is cross-platform and free. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to point out that there are plenty of one-minute tutorials out there that show you how to use uh, various websites to do exactly this. And that's all fine and dandy if you're okay with third parties having access to your documents and maybe uh, paying whatever fees they charge. So before we go into the detailed step-by-step, -step, a high-level overview of what we're going to do is this. Uh, first, we're going to figure out what colors your printer can still print. Uh, and then from there, we'll pick a substitute color to use. Uh, and then at that point, we're free to open up the PDF file, make that color change, and then print it. So on my screen, you can see uh, I have a web browser loaded to the Inkscape homepage. That's the tool we'll be using to do all of our steps. But first, let's figure out what colors our printer can print. To do that, what you need to do is get yourself uh, some kind of printer test page that will print out all of the different colors possible. So for that purpose, I have selected this uh, PDF that's available from the opensource.apple.com website. And as you can see here, it's a simple one page, has a color wheel on one side and a gray ramp up here. We will use this. So let's go ahead right now click the print button and then once the print dialog is open uh, just make sure you have the settings right definitely you want to make sure that it is going to print in color and then go ahead and print and see what it looks like all right so let's go take a look sure. All right, so it printed, and this is what I get. So you can see um, I get a slight amount of color here. From the color wheel, Yeah, you can see it's very strong in what appears to be the red or magenta colors. So when I do my replacement of the black color, I will be using probably red. All right, so now that we have visually identified on the paper what color we want to use, we need to figure out what that color is and how to represent that in terms of uh, red, green, and blue. So to do that, let's take this PDF file that we just printed and save it so we can then open it inside of Inkscape and get those color numbers. So you can click on the download button and then just save it. All right, so now that the file is downloaded, we can open it up in Inkscape. If you don't have Inkscape, you can grab it from their website, or if you are using a Linux system, you can probably find it inside of your uh, uh, repos. Um, so for example, if you are on a Debian-based Linux operating system, you could start by saying sudo apt update to uh, refresh your package listings. Let that run. All right, and then once that has finished, you can type sudo apt install Inkscape, Inkscape, and it'll go through the installation process. All right, now once you have your Inkscape program installed, just start that up. So for me, it's under my applications and graphics menu. And from here, we can go to File, Open, and then pick that PDF document that we had printed and reviewed. Okay. On this screen that pops up for PDF import settings, you should be okay to just take the defaults. So just hit OK at the bottom. 
Okay, so here it is. Here is the printer test page in here. You can zoom in by holding down on your control key and using the mouse wheel. So again, I said that I was looking for a red color. So once you have the color wheel zoomed in, you can use the eyedropper tool to figure out what that color code is. So for me, because I have a lower resolution on this computer I'm using, I can't actually see it from the toolbar, but there is a little arrow here I can click on, and there it is, dropper. So I'll select that. Now my mouse cursor has changed to the eyedropper, and as I hover over things, I can see that there's different uh, values that are showing up on the bottom section of this window. Uh, so for example, right now I see it's got C81C00 as the hex representation for the color. That's a bit to remember, so I'm just going to open up a little terminal for myself and I can just type that in. Uh, was it C8? I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot what it was. Let me say that again. Oh, and these numbers are all kind of different, but let's go with this one. All right, this one is B91800. Let's take that out. B91800. Okay, so I have that there. So... Hi, everyone. Just to interject, uh, so I completely forgot that uh, there's a feature with Inkscape where when you want to pick a color, you can click and drag to create an area that you would then average to get the color, which especially when you're dealing with a color wheel like this would be much easier because as you can see, as I move uh, the mouse around in this red area, there's it, it jumps the colors at every, just about every single pixel. But if I click and then drag, you can see that it creates the circle and then it shows you what the averaged color is within that circle. So this would be a better way to go. Uh, so in this case, C72F17, instead of trying to pick one single color within all of that. So let's pretend I actually remember to tell you that, and that's the color for the rest of the video. Uh, but for now, yeah, keep that in mind. It's a very handy feature, and I definitely should have done that when I did the original recording. Okay, so I'll remember for, for later. Okay, so that's it. We have our color identified, and now it's time to actually replace the colors. So in, in my case, for this demonstration, I'm actually going to do the replacement on this same document. But you know, in your case, you probably open up the actual PDF you wanted. Uh, so let's go through that process again, because there are some things that I kind of skipped over when we we're talking about this first time. So again, you go to File and Open, and then you pick out the PDF that you want to print in a different color. Hit Open. So here within the PDF Import Settings, the first option is to select the page you want. So you do have to do this page by page which is a bit of a downer if you have lots of pages, you're going to go through this process once for uh, every single one of those pages. Okay, so for me, uh, I don't need to change anything. I only have that one page. I'll hit OK. And we're going to start again. Okay, so now we have our file again. I'll go ahead and close this other one. Okay, so now that we have the document that you want to switch out the black color for. Here's what we have to do next. First, again, we can zoom it in a little bit, again, holding down on control and using the mouse wheel. Uh, let's just bring it up to there. Now, the next thing we want to do is select everything. So to do that, you can press control A, the usual select all shortcut, or we can go to edit, select all. Okay, so now everything is selected. And now we go and change the color. Go up to Filters, Color, and Channel Painting. All right. Now, this uh, little window here will pop up. And at this point, we're going to go to the Color tab. And here, we need to enter in that color that we had found out from before. So hopefully you remember the color that, that you had picked out. I've actually forgotten, so I am going to go into my terminal now and look at that. So that was 
The red color was B91800. So back over here, you can see we have a space just to type that in here. There's also the extra bit of, of FF here, which we don't need to replace. So I'll just take that first part and say B91800. Of course, the other thing you could do is just try to play with these different sliders to get it to match up to that color. All right, but let's, let's say we had that. So I have my color selected. This is the color I'm going to replace the black with. Okay, and now I am going to go back to options. I will turn on live preview. Also switch the inverted option on. And you can see it has swapped um, this red color for more than what I wanted. Right, like you can see here that these things are now completely red. There, there was something in there, can't see it now. And that's because of these sliders here. So what we need to do is reduce the red, green, and blue sliders until it's only switching the black or things that are very close to black, like super dark gray. Okay, so here I'm just gonna click on these sliders and bring the values down. Oh, done. Okay, that was actually, um, not quite. Okay, I went too far. Let me bring it up a bit. More, more, more. Okay, I think we are good there. Oh, that's too much. Pull it back. Okay, so it, once it looks good from here, you can click the apply button to make that change and then hit close. And now we can use the, the control key and the mouse wheel again to zoom in a little bit more to make sure everything looks pretty good. So I'm just scrolling around and I think this looks good to me. Yeah, okay, so I am happy with that. So at this point, we are good to print. So from here, just, just print it. So I will go to File and Print and I will print using that thing. Um, again, we have to go make sure that we have uh, it set to color. All right, and hit the print button. Let's go see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. This is the print when I swap it out with the red color and you know, compare that to the original black and white. Uh, and, and there you have it, that's the process. So obviously um, this red color is not ideal. Uh, ideally we would have a, a dark blue or something like that. If what you needed to do was to print off a form and fill it out and sign it and then scan it back in. If you scan this in as black and white, it'll look fine. It'll, nobody would know that you had uh, printed out it out in a, a weird red color uh, because it'll just be all grayscale. So that's it. How you can figure out uh, what colors are available to print with, how you can use Inkscape to change the black in a document to be that color uh, and then print it out. Hope that you did find that useful. If you did, please do give this a like and consider subscribing so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now. Okay, recording round two. This is with the version that was uh, converted to red. So here we go. What's that? 350. 350, yes, I, I don't remember. And of course, I'm taking the audio out from this video so that I can say whatever I want. Whoa, what? What? No!